fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to kit up my Penguin Trio kit. I've got my tray, I've got my stickers, I've got all of my drills that I have uh, cut apart into DMC order, my cubes, and I think I'm ready to go. So I'm going to be putting the stickers on the cubes. Uh, yeah, as I jump in you guys, Full disclosure, this is a voiceover. Uh, I am still in Canada as I'm filming this in my hotel room and I just couldn't get the audio to work. The crinkling of the bags was way louder than I wanted it to be and I couldn't get, I couldn't figure out a way no matter which microphone I was using, whether it was my camera, my earbuds or my lav mic that I bought, none of them would let me filter out the noise of the crinkling bags enough that I felt you guys could hear me easily. So yeah, this is what I'm doing today. So I'm kidding up all of the drills, uh, hoping that none of them are going to be full of static like the last kit up that I did. I did get a lot of um, suggestions from you guys about ways to deal with static. I've tried many of them before. I did find a method that worked for that particular kit up. Crossing my fingers, I never have a kit up as bad as that again. I have a couple of more suggestions that I'm going to try, and we'll see how I do. So kitting this one up, um, I, you guys can see them off to the side there. I still have not remembered to either pick up a pair of scissors or to ask the in-laws if I could borrow a, a pair, and so I'm just using my nail clippers for this. And actually, it's working fine. I have plenty of bags to go through and the clippers cut just fine. Luckily so far there hasn't been a huge amount of static so that's good. Anyway um, yeah so just trying to get all of this kitted up using whatever I have on hand while my husband is out running errands, seeing family, doing whatever he can do to get him out of the hotel room so he's not wandering around in here making noise while I'm trying to do this voiceover. I did bring two kits to work on uh, I finished the first one and you guys will be seeing that later. It was a smaller kit. This one that I'm kitting up is only a 30 by 40. So it's not a huge kit either, but I brought smaller kits because we're having to travel and I just didn't want to have to try and fit a whole bunch of things in our suitcases. I will say we tried really hard when we left to only take one luggage bag that we would have to check. And then we each took like a little backpack as a carry on. And I'm actually glad that we did that because several of our flights, um, the airplanes are so small that there's, they were doing that thing where they make you check your bag that you would normally carry on the plane um, at the jetway as you're getting on the plane because the overhead bins just aren't big enough for most people's carry ons. So we went to the store and we grabbed one that would be small enough that it would fit even on those small planes but we haven't bought luggage in so long. So this way we can fill up some stuff and we can take a, a second checked bag home. We'll have it again. We got one of those nice little rolly ones that has the omnidirectional wheels. I've never had one like that before. We just don't travel often enough. And yeah, so we got one and it's a little pricier than we wanted to pay, but that's okay. We'll have it and we'll get some good use out of it. Be able to use it on other trips. We still, oh, you guys. So one of the things that we wanted to do when we came up here was to check in with immigration because my husband has a friend who's gone through this with his wife and he's the one that told us that we need to mail our passports in. Well, my husband was talking to him today. You know, we've been all panicked trying to figure out, do we need to send in our passports? If so, where? All this kind of stuff. We had asked in my husband's Facebook group. The advice there was to call because we were taking a trip to Canada to call while we were up here. Okay, I don't know what you have to do to get to an actual person, but we haven't figured it out. So my husband's called at least twice and you get their little robotic menu, you know, press nine if you want this, press eight if you want that, press three if you're looking for this. And we've gone through the whole menu and we've entered everything. All we can find out is that our application is processing. That's all it says anywhere. And you can't get to a real person like, one of my, my sisters, my sisters, my husband's sister actually worked for a government agency and she said, oh, try this trick on the phone system that should get you to a real live person. We've tried it. It didn't work. Um, and he's called back two different times trying to do that and it hasn't worked. Um, and then we got online 
because we have an account where you can log in and see, all it says is that our application is processing. And so just been really frustrated. And then the friend who started this all in the first place called my husband because he heard my husband was in town and wanted to meet up with him and they were talking about it. Oh yeah, the next step after this is, you know, they're gonna ask you for photos and stuff. And I'm like, so now he's saying we didn't need to mail in our passports anywhere. So we don't know what's going on, guys. Somebody commented on our Facebook post um, that I guess passport renewals go through London, Ontario, and his passport renewal, he was in the States, but Canadian, renewing his Canadian passport, it got sent to London, England by mistake. I don't know how you make that mistake, but so I don't know if there's something there. I don't know if everything is fine. There's nothing on our account that says we need to do anything. It says everything is processing. So I guess at this point, I'm just going to have to let it go. Um, you know, I told my husband, I'm so anxious over this, that we're going to have done something wrong and that we're going to have to start all over, but it doesn't say we're missing anything. It doesn't say, you know, what we needed to do, but there's so many things. Like I said, I, I think I've mentioned to you guys before, the website says that as U.S. citizens, we shouldn't need to do biometrics, but we were told we had to pay for them and go get them. We did both of those things. Um, we were you know, don't know whether we were supposed to actually mail in our passports or not. That seems crazy to me just because one, mailing your passport to a foreign government doesn't seem, I don't know, like something you'd want to do. I mean, it's just the U.S. to Canada, so it's not, but you know, if it was another country, that would seem weird. And also, what if someone needed to travel while the passport was wherever it would be going? How, how do you do that? So that part never made sense to me anyway. But everything we can find just says it's processing. So I guess we're just going to do the hurry up and wait game again, which admittedly I suck at. And I've told my husband that before, but my biggest thing is that we're under a deadline with my youngest. And I finally just had to tell myself, okay, I'm, I'm stressing about this probably more than my youngest would be stressing about it. And he's the one that's going to be most affected. Um, I think the reality is just for me, you know, I'm already leaving my daughter behind by her choice, but it feels like I'm leaving her behind and I don't want him. He wants to come. And so I don't want to screw things up for either one of us. I mean, for me, in reality, my husband and I can come up here anytime. I can get permanent residency anytime. I'm not on a time frame because my husband and I are married and we're spouses. But my son, you can only bring a dependent until they turn 22. And so I feel like I'm up against this you know, deadline. And that's been the stressful part of it. So I'm trying really hard just to be very zen about it and let it go. But yeah, I was talking to my husband and I said, you know, I really, I would really like to start another YouTube channel with all of our kind of trials and tribulations and all the things that we have to go through and the hoops that you have to jump through to get residency. Because we could talk about not only us trying to get into Canada, but the hoops that we had to jump through with my husband to become a U.S. citizen. I think people would find it interesting, but so much of it is just hurry up and wait. And so I don't think that would be interesting. Well, we'll see. I don't know if people would find it interesting or not. Uh, I think they would, but what do I know? That's all part of my plan to, you know, eventually um, branch out into kind of like a lifestyle YouTube channel. That's way down the road. <laughs> for when we actually get our PR approved, whenever that may be. I mean, we've had people tell us, officially, the government says it can take between 14 and 18 months, but we've had people tell us it took them as little as six months and some people that it took literally up to four years. So we'll see what happens. Who knows when it's all up to the government, right? Okay, so got all the stickers done. And I'm just going to save this little section here um, because I don't have enough containers. I've got 33 colors and only 28 containers. So I'm going to keep those stickers because in these extra stickers, I think I'm just going to save for later. But I'm going to be using um, some other containers and I'll probably use the stickers that I brought from home to um, kit up the rest of the drills that won't fit in these you know, the extra colors, the five extra colors I have that won't fit into the 28 little cubes. Okay, I'm getting down to my last section of colors here. And again, nail clippers probably aren't the most conventional <laughs> methods, but 
you know, whatever works. Um, okay, see, I was talking about uh, my uh, PR from Canada. We've had a good time up here visiting family. Um, my husband has gotten to go visit his dad pretty much every day in the hospital. Um, and we've been really lucky that his dad has recognized him pretty much every time that he's been in, which we weren't sure what happened. So I'm grateful for that. And, you know, just been spending time with um, family. We drove up to the city um, to see my stepdaughter and their families and um, have another stepson who lives in the town where we are. So we're going to be going out to dinner with them. And yeah, just my husband is having a blast eating all the things that he remembers but can't get in Canada or can't get in the U.S. We were actually laughing because I, my son loves Coffee Crisp bars. So um, I'm going to be getting him some Coffee Crisp bars. Okay, so I'm down to... What is that? The last six or seven colors? Well, I guess not technically because I've got five left that are going to go into other containers, but getting close to the end here, I did have two colors that I had two bags of, um, the blue that you see at the top of the screen. And then um, when I get to the white, there are two bags of white, obviously. They're penguins. There's a lot of white. It's a winter landscape. So there's, or a winter picture so there's white in there and so I will need to I, I decided to leave the extra bags just the drills in the bags and use up what I have in the cube storage since I don't have enough cubes for all the colors to begin with and of course I spill everywhere what would a kid up with me be without me spilling drills right um leave the white and the blue in the bags and then just fill them back up. I want to try and use up the colors that I don't have very many drills of just so then I can use that container for some of the other ones. And I gotta say, again, just sitting here looking at the stickers on the containers, I really like these Dreamy Design stickers. They're nice and thin, but they're very legible. The symbols are clear, the DMC numbers are on there. Crossing my fingers, they peel off easily. I, I, they use a kind of paper that it's hard to tell whether or not they are removable stickers. But either way, super glad to have the stickers because again, like I said, I'm at home and, or I mean, I'm not at home and trying to do all of this stuff on the flight, you just don't realize, you know, when you're getting ready to travel, all the things that you're gonna need. I mean, I was like, okay, I'm gonna need a tray. I'm going to need containers. I'm going to need pens. Didn't think about tweezers. Uh, I did bring some extra glue dots. I did not bring extra putty. Uh, I did bring a roll of washi tape. I remembered that. But then I realized when I started working on the other kit that I had forgotten a straightener. So yeah, that and that kit, I like the finished picture, which again, I'll show you guys, but um, at some point, but yeah, not having the straightener, ugh. Okay, so I'm all done with the 28 containers. I've got those five left, and I'm not gonna use these stickers for those. What I have are little condiment um, containers that I got at the dollar store, and that was the closest I could find to what I needed. I brought some stickers from home that I had made myself, so I'm just gonna use those to put on the tops of these condiment containers. And then as I do the painting and I use up, I think there's a good number of colors that I've already kitted up in the 28 that I can, there's not actually that many drills. So I can, you know, finish that color and then move them into a baggie or something. So I could put the color that I am gonna use into the cube storage. Plus again, I've got an extra bag of the blue and I'll have an extra bag of the white. Um, so as I use those, I will need to put those in there. But I, I did bring these stickers from home, but I didn't bring enough of them. That's something I should have counted out too. Like 
you know, I don't, I didn't know until I opened the um, penguins how many colors there were going to be. I thought 28 would be enough. Obviously, I was wrong. Um, 28 is usually enough for the smaller kits, and this one was only 30 by 40, so I, so I thought that would be enough, but nope, I'm five short. So yeah, just going to use these condiment containers that I got, and that will, you know, make do until I can work through some of the kits and use up some of the drills that I already have or finish a color, you know, and then I can move the color either into one of these condiment containers or now that I know it came with baggies, I can put some of them in the baggies um, and do it that way so that they don't get lost. I like the condiment containers. If you've never used them before, they're a good solution, but these particular ones are super fussy to get the lids on and off. I bought other ones before and I've never had that much trouble with them. So I just, yeah, I was really trying to hurry and get my other kit finished so that I could use my little 28 cubes because I didn't want to have to use these condiment containers for everything. They're just, yeah, super fussy to get the lids on, which I'd never have had happen before. Okay, so I'm down to the last two colors and both of those are ABs. And I need to, at some point, when I'm back home and I have access to my computer, um, Dreamer Designs uses their own AB codes for um, the drills. So instead of the actual DMC code, like one of them says AB38, and I think the other one is AB08. I'm sure the 08 corresponds to the 5200 AB. They're both white. I don't remember exactly what color the 38 AB is going to be, this green one, um, but I'll need to note those down somewhere before I can de-kit this so that I know what DMC code to use for those drills. Okay, so I've got those five in the little condiment containers. I've got the rest of them kitted up in the 28. I've got the blue and the white left over, like I said, but I'm ready to go. I've got everything all kitted up. And then, at, like I said, as I get done with the ones in the condiment, I can put them in the 28 slot containers and a couple of colors like this one where there's almost no drills in them, fill those in in the kits and then I can switch everything around and yeah, I'm good to go. Okay, um, and baggies, like I said, I'm, I'm going to probably use the baggies. That's it. I'm all done. I'm all kitted up and ready to go. And hopefully the next time you see this kit, I'll be working on it. Before you leave, guys, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.